Hey -o. this is Easy Bit Tactical. Thanks, thanks for watching and welcome back to the channel. So today I have six, seven lever action I want to go through. I like lever action. Based on your comments, if you post comments to this video for the first week, we will see which one of these you want me to do a specific video on. So without further ado, let's get going. If you are not, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Then we, in no particular order, we're going to go actually from the darkest to the shinest. And I'm going to show you some of the lever actions that I've shot lately. And um, hopefully I have a chance to incorporate some range footage before I post this up. If not, I'll have a fuller video on me shooting them. So real quick, this is not meant to be a full blown review on every single one of them. And I had to take some notes because there's so much to learn about this. The first one right here, this is a 22 caliber lever action this one is specifically a marlin farm a marlin golden 39 as the 39a it's one of the longest running production gun in the world one of the particularities is the micro groove barrel and this one specifically has about uh, it's a 24 inch barrel and it's got it has a mounting system where you can install a scoop which will make it a little more practical and accurate. Um, details around between $500 and $1,000. I don't know what the MSRP was. Very nice to shoot for a 22. I like the fact that the trigger hammer has a little tab here to for better gripping. So Marlin Golden 39S. The next one is a classic Winchester 3030 specifically the Winchester 94 AE or 1894 Winchester this one is chamber is in 3030 caliber which is a pretty big round uh, this one is a 20 inch barrel which has a seven round capacity uh, really I'm surprised because it's a very light rifle very popular in cowboy or Western movies but also for hunting and rifle in real life uh, very good rifle action a very crisp trigger of course the lever action triggers are not the best triggers right but i love the action of the lever action you know uh, particularity of this one again it has a side loader this is a side loader so versus some of those ones which are a, which have a tube that you have to open and load from the front more to come on that and this one i feel like the lever is a little bit more harder to operate um, yeah, 3030 Winchester AE. This is a 94 AE. AE stands for angle ejection. Angle ejected. If I'm and this one has a safety. So did the other one, by the way. The next one, one of my favorite, is a Henry Henry lever action in 44 Magnum octagon barrel. This one is in a rifle configuration, which is a 20 inch barrel, um, and color case harden one of my favorite finish on the farm and i think it really belongs on the lever action i believe this one as a, because it's a rifle i think it's eight round capacity i'm not sure i don't remember now big ball the 44 caliber was one of the first big ball caliber design in the 1950s for hunting so next one this is pretty much the same rifle but in a carbon configuration Henry repeating arms 44 Magnum or 44 special um, caliber same thing this one is similar to the other one they feed through a tube not the side gate now Henry do doesn't make these anymore the 44 Magnum color case harden or, or like all comes with a side gate so wider except he has a wider level look for better usage if you're wearing you know thick winter gloves or leather go. Same thing, I really love the carbon configuration because I like short and compact. The the carbon and the rifle in 44 Magnums are around thousand dollars, thousand fifty MSRP. And the Winchester 3030, of course, if you get a real old one original, you spend a few thousand dollars, but this one is about a thousand dollar price range. I think if you can get one. So the next one. Another great one, Henry Repeating Arms, the Golden Boy Silver in 17 HMR caliber. 
very nice very smooth wonderful finish although i'm not one for glossy finish the silver plating on this is amazing you have a silver plating on the back silver plating on the whole action looks really good so clean i can look at myself and check out myself as a mirror so if you're missing a mirror use the use your henry silver big boy golden boy silver 20 inch barrel tube fed as well the retail price on this one is about seven hundred dollars i believe the next rifle is big boy classic another henry lever action another octagon barrel and i did mention the big boy the golden boy silver was also an octagon barrel this is a carbon wider loop so most of the carbon or henry lever henry action rifles have a wider loops that i know for now i guess this is the 45 uh, 357 magnum sorry and 38 special big boy classic you can tell by the gold silver finish and the gold silver on the end too another very good carbon rifle so similar to the color case harden except different caliper different finish those carbons have 16 and a half inch barrel octagon barrel and it takes about i don't remember maybe so this is what 357 magnum maybe nine ten rounds i'm not sure i don't i don't remember anymore um this one is about 945 i think in uh, msrp that big boy classic that's a brass finish it's another big boy classic this one is in 45 cold caliber same thing very shiny clean finish same finish on the back very similar to the other one same exact carbon just different caliber same finish yeah that's pretty much what we can say about those uh, front and rear side so these both are in the 945 dollar msrp i believe so about a thousand dollars so that's it on the lever action do let me know in the comments which one you would like to see a review of in further detail again i will have follow-up videos of me shooting them if i don't include them in this video so subscribe and sign up for notifications so you will see them in action and i uh, appreciate the support thanks for watching talk to you soon